Today I'm going to show you how to get the Jewels of the Deep Scars, Makeup, Tattoos, the Collector of Cursed Gems title, and the Ruby Sovereign Eye Patch. Quickly before this video starts, if it is after September 16th, this video is no longer accurate and is just outdated. So as of about a week ago, the last Season 3 event started. Jewels of the Deep. Now this is another event structured around favor, which is basically a point system you'll do and get a certain amount of points based on what you did. And then at certain increments of points, you'll get a reward. Now I'll go over the challenges in a second. First, the reward. At 200 favor, you'll get the Jewels of the Deep Scar. At 300 favor, you'll get the Jewels of the Deep Makeup. At 400, the Jewels of the Deep Tattoos. And at 500, the Collector of Cursed Gems title. Now, favor can be acquired in various ways, most of them centered around killing sirens. So these are the challenges. Defeat an Ocean Crawler. Defeat a phantom, destroy a sapphire cursed mermaid statue, destroy an emerald cursed mermaid statue, destroy a ruby cursed mermaid statue, defeat a siren, defeat a siren leader, and defeat the siren queen. Now you can get double favor from every single one of those if you do that with a trident. So basically kill stuff with tridents. Now we're not entirely sure how much favor everything gives but it seems to be somewhere between 5 to 20 without a trident. By far the easiest way to do this, spoiler warning for the Sunken Pearl Tall Tale, the second Pirate Life Tall Tale, just spoilers, very spoilers. So basically what you want to do is start the Sunken Pearl Tall Tale, then just complete the Tall Tale up to this point here with the Tridents. Grab your Tridents, swim out, kill all the Sirens. I'm not going to explain how to do the Tall Tale, but basically just anytime there's Sirens or Ocean Crawlers, kill them with the Tridents if you can. So I was going to try and test how much everything gave in amounts of favor. Um, the Sunken Pearl, if you do the whole Tulta, we did it with two people, um, you get every reward. Easily. There you go. <laughs> We're done. Yeah. <laughs> we finished. We finished it. By accident. Uh, we were intentionally not using tridents for the second half of it because we didn't want to get it and we wanted to see how much favor the queen got. But once you get to the room with the silver blade and you cannon all these ocean crawlers on the shore, that those all give favor, even though you're killing them with cannonballs. Every single one of them. So really, do Sunken Pearl one time, kill everything you can with tridents, you will most likely get it from one clear. Now that covers getting scars, tattoos, the makeup, and the title. Now there is one more reward, which is the Ruby Sovereign Eye Patch. Now this is the most difficult of the items to get, as what you need to do is hand in a hundred Siren or Mermaid gems to the trading companies. It doesn't matter which company. Now this one is this challenge is very time consuming. Uh, the best ways we have found to do it is to do Thieves Haven runs, because those give you I want to say about eight or nine per run on average but that was that's that's a guess plus if you kill every ocean crawler you get that's gonna be a few more now there are other options skeleton fleets skeleton ships tend to have from what i've seen from my limited amount of testing every single one of the skeleton ships we fought dropped one that's pretty good if you can find a skeleton ship fleet. Megalodons can also drop them, and Fort Vaults can also have them. But if you want a consistent way that you can rely on and actually do without having to server hop a ton, these say aren't. Now, that is pretty much everything. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. I will try and answer them as soon as possible, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.